Go ahead. Hi, guys. Hey, guys. How you doing? I'm here again for uh, with you guys. I got the Hitchcock Ultimate Film Maker or Film Fan, I can't remember, I edition. I got it from Amazon UK. And uh, I'm going to give you guys a pause here once I show you what it is and uh, give you guys a pause and get to the uh, overview of it so you guys get an idea of how it feels before I do anything. I got this thing from Amazon UK and it is messed up. So, yes, it is broken, but I do have a replacement on the way. But I decided that you guys would like to take a look at it before I uh, before I shipped it back and before I got the other one. But with that said, guys, uh, here's what it looks like. And I am going to uh, pause you. I'll see you after the pause. All right, guys. Back after the break. Now, here's uh, here we go. We're going to start unboxing this thing. Um, but first off, let me show you. It's got this plastic. Or this, it's more of a gl It's not glass. It's plastic. But let me show you what's wrong with it. It's got a uh, little bit of a there. It's cracked like crazy here. And I mean that's really all that's wrong with it, both sides though. But they actually offered me faster return, so I've waited for three weeks for this thing. And let me tell you what happened. The United States Postal Service lost it. They claimed they didn't, but they did. They lost it and it showed up. I'm not joking. It showed up wrapped. Wrapped in Okay, sorry. Dean was uh causing a disturbance. But anyway, like I said, it's destroyed. It's not in the best shape. But um, without further ado, let's uh, open this thing if I can with one hand. Yeah, we can get her. Uh, that was just a uh, plastic sleeve thing that goes over the top of the uh, things. But anyway, it's got like it's it's this plastic thing. This is kind of a pain in the butt, and I'm sorry for the angle. I don't have a tripod, and. You know, not any of us can blame her. My wife doesn't really want to be a part of this, which I don't blame her at all. So I don't really have a second set of hands. I can't rely on Dean because he already dumped these out once. Not that it matters because it's going back, but I don't want him destroying it because I don't need to be worse than it was. But anyway, the background there, which we can get inside here, we can kind of look at it, is uh, Vertigo. So there ain't nothing much to look at here. All this is is a glass or plastic topper type thing but i'll show you a better idea here of how it was broken and that bullshit the united states postal service brings this thing to my house the box looks like some giant 300 pound man set on it i weigh 300 pounds i shouldn't say that some giant 400 pound fucker sat down on the top of it took a giant piss on it because it looked wet and then it looked like they decided that it was okay to uh, throw it in the back of the truck after they did all that. And they shrink wrapped it round and round and round and round. I mean, I had to literally take the shrink wrap off of this thing. Literally. Take the shrink wrap off of that box knife. It was so thick you couldn't even tear into it. But they shrink wrapped it because the tape had busted. Because, well, I think this thing actually fell out of the bottom of the box and hit the ground. And they said, well, what do I care? Anyway, enough complaining. Oh, it was my son's birthday party if you are wondering about the balloons. That's why there's still a little bit of mess, but... We're going to go ahead and uh, do this video first. But it comes like this. Now, these aren't any discernible order. They were in chronological order by year. They were in chronological order by year. But what happened... Well, you can come over here and hold these if you want. What happened was Dean dumped them out and they went rolling across the floor. and I didn't mess with it. But they come in chronological order. But anyway, they... Um, Come in little film canisters like this. Trouble with Harry. 1955. Universal logo on the back. If I can focus, yeah. And then on the inside of these, I'm going to actually give you guys a pause. And uh, come back with you so I can get an extra set of hands. I'm not going to be able to do this by myself. Let me pause it and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, what I had, sorry guys, I didn't realize that we were filming. What I have here is, like I was saying, Trouble with Harry. And, um, this is what the discs look like. And it comes, and I'm not a fan of this at all. It has this, like, very soft styrofoamy stuff inside, I guess, so it doesn't get scratched. I'm not a fan of it, but, it, you know, I'll live with it. Um... 
and I'm gonna go over these one by one. If I can now, the next one is the rope. As you can see, they all got their own font. Like probably the same. T the, the titles all have their own font. Is what I said, but I don't know what I'm looking for. It's like their own logo from the film. Like probably whatever was on their original posters, or maybe even in the. That's what the discs look like. And then each one of these film canisters reads the name all the way around. So no matter what, you don't lose them. Well, not lose them, but no matter what, you'll know what they are. So you ain't going to have any discernible angle and spin it inside of this little holder. And this one is uh, To Catch a Thief. And there's 16 films in this. And you'll have to watch this all the way through. I don't know what films are actually included in this. Truthfully, because I haven't seen hardly them. I mean, I've read them, and that's what the disc looks like. It's the only one that doesn't have cover art. It looks totally different. It's kind of like an afterthought. It's like they threw this into last minute. And this is the uh, difference between this and the U.S. version of this. It has this film. This film is not in the U.S. version. Next up is uh, Rear Window. I haven't decided which one that I'm going to watch tonight, but I, it may be this one. Isn't that pretty cool? I don't know if I can get the wife to watch any of this or not. She's shaking her head no. She won't speak or be on camera. She, uh, so I don't get to show, uh, I don't get to show my sexy lady off to all you gentlemen out there. And women, I guess. If you're into that kind of thing, hit me up. I'm just kidding. Don't take that serious. <laughs> but anyway, this is Saboteur. I get you voodoo. And this one would be The Man Who Knew Too Much. And this is the cover art. And this video is going to be incredibly long, but you know, you want to see every single thing. Because there's still more other than this. I mean, there's a lot more to go than this. There's a whole booklet in the back. It's got all kinds of good, fun things in it. That is Vertigo. There's the cover of that. Was that up there long enough? I don't know. I'm trying to hurry up because now I'm getting impatient. This is North by Northwest. The only one of these 16 films that I own. I own this in the U.S. release Digibook, which I may be getting rid of. Uh, you guys, you know, watching this video, you come up with a decent trade, for another Digibook for uh, North by Northwest. I may uh, be willing to trade. Just uh, let me know in the comments below. But anyway... North by Northwest. I think it's the same cover on the U.S. except it's in black and white. And there's the uh, canister face. I didn't show you. I don't remember. Next one up is Psycho. Probably my favorite of the Hitchcock films, but I haven't seen them all, so I'll let you, you know, I'll let, I may change my mind later on that one. I may not be my favorite later, but I might watch this one tonight. I want my wife to watch one of these, but tonight with me, but I bet she won't. She's not commenting, so that must mean she won't. But anyway, up next is Frenzy. And Dean, what are you doing? And there's a screaming lady on the front. Um, it's kind of creepy. And Family Plot. Family Plot. And there's the cover of that. I got you. Thank you. The Birds. I might get my wife to watch this one tonight. She was interested in this when it was on TCM one day. But I hear I hear this one actually looks like complete trash. They didn't Dean. do a very good job at uploading it. Don't be picking your nose, Dean. The Birds. Come I don't know if I showed you. Come in. In case I did it too quick. I'm bad about that. Uh, Topaz. Oh, wow. When he dropped that, Dean, you scratched the living crap out of this. Good thing I'm returning this. And there's the backs. They're all the backs are the same. And once again, it's got the, like I showed you, they all just say the name around the rim. And then, uh, like I said, Topaz. Did I open this one up? No idea what that's about, but I'm sure I'll love it. I love these older films. Dean. Uh, you get in trouble when you do movies. Mommy's recording, don't you? Torn Curtain. And I appreciate you guys who are still here. I know this video is getting really long. Oh, wow. It's Paul Newman. I, I, that's pretty cool. 
Oh, that actually kind of cool. Really cool. Uh, the next one is Marty. Oh, look at that. It fell right apart. He really screwed this one up when he dropped it. I'm glad this is going to be returned. I don't even want to shut like the rest of them. But anyway, when he dropped them, they all went rolling across the floor. It's pretty damn funny because the look on his face is priceless. Marty. Uh, this one's another one. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. It's got... Uh, What's his name? Sean Connery. See that? I'm Sean Connery. Yeah, that was terrible. And next up is um, Shadow of a Doubt. And without a doubt, I know nothing about this one. <laughs> uh, there's a guy in a fedora. Fedora? Fedora. Hmm. Who would have known, Dean? Who would have known? I don't know. All about right. That. Like I said, guys, I'm going to have to pause this so we can get into the little envelope that's in the back. Okay, guys, I'm back. What we have here is this little folder that is housed in the back of the set. It's housed back here in the set. It sets in the set like this. And it's just got a bunch of cool extras. I'm not even sure what's in here, so I'm seeing this really. I mean, I've looked at some of it, but not a lot of it. I'm seeing this for the first time with you guys it looks like this might be the booklet that are the this may be the same booklet that comes with the u.s version with this discs in it i'm not sure don't hold me to that but i know nothing about this i'm just gonna skim through this stuff real quick because this video but it, i guess it's the master of suspense it's just this little booklet no idea so this is what makes me wonder if this book was if this has been a return even even though it's destroyed because look at this it's it's got things wrong with it that should not be wrong with it. And this is a reproduction the 10 best pictures in 1954. This scroll is awarded to the Film Daily and National Motion Pictures Critics and Commentators to Director Alfred Hitchcock. Apparently this is the Film Daily Award like reproduction thing. I don't know what the hell this is but I'll leave it here for a minute for you guys to read. Okay, now this is probably the time to pause it if you want to read it. I'm not going to read this to you. I'm sorry, but I don't see the point in it. Take up too much of my time. Okay. And this looks like this is a storybook. This is pretty cool. And up next is some more storybook pages for I don't know what film because I'm not watch these films enough to really know what this is from but it's pretty cool um looks like there's some transcripts yeah look at that i mean it's just it's all screwed up there's no doubt in my mind this was returned to amazon i'm um, speaking to you guys and my wife at the same time yeah this has been returned to amazon okay this is uh evan hunter's horses i don't know this is just a, a letter to Hitchcock, you know, I don't really know what this stuff is. It's just like a letter to Hitchcock personally. Uh, it looks like this is like script script changes. And it looks like it's copyrighted. And this here is part of the script changes. Yeah, this is Amazon has gave me something that's been returned. It's kind of bullshit, but... You know, at least I'm getting a refund. I mean, th this is just letters to Hitchcock from other people. Or maybe it's, yeah, it, it's from Arthur's and stuff. It's people who, I, I, um, I guess that one was script change. It looks like that person was trying to convince Hitchcock to make his film. And this, these are lobby cards, I think is what they're called, but they're cards nonetheless. I'm actually a little let down by a little booklet in the back of this. There's not much there. But who knows, maybe something was left out. Saboteur. Shadow of a Doubt. Rope. Looks like some really cheesy crap. And that that's James Stewart. I said it was Cary Grant. Totally two different guys. But at least I tried. Some Grace Kelly. and uh, you know, Grace Kelly, James Stewart, and Rear Window. Yeah, I gotta check that one out. Oh, wow. Um... To Catch a Thief. 
the trouble with Harry, the men, the man who knew too much, Vertigo, which I absolutely love that. I'd love to have this poster. You know, if you can come up with a uh, reproduction of this poster, and if you guys have it in fairly new condition, I might trade you that for uh, to catch a thief. I don't know. Just hit me up in the comments if you uh, or private message me if you guys really want to trade my uh, digi book for something. Just let me know. Cary Grant, Cary Grant, Cary Grant in. North by Northwest, which was a, is a hell of a movie. Psycho. And then it's The Birds. And then it's Mar Marnie, of course, with uh, Sean Connery and Tippi Hedren. I, I'm not sure who she is, but, you know, of course, everybody knows who Sean Connery is. And then uh, Paul Newman and... Uh, Torn Curtain. I'm really interested in this one. I'm a huge Paul Newman fan, so... Obviously, I'm not that big of a fan, or maybe I would know he was in that movie, right? Topaz. Hitchcock's Frenzy. And Flaming Plot. I don't believe there's anything else in here. No, there's not. Alright, well, guys, with that said, I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you watching. I'll see you next time. Please subscribe. Bye. You're not going to tell them bye? Bye. All right. See you guys later. Please subscribe and uh, thanks again for watching.